imagine that I have a conical pendulum over here that is moving in what is more or less a horizontal circle. What sort of forces are acting on this object? First of all, we have the weight, which is acting vertically downwards, let's call that mg. But we also have the force of tension, which is acting at some angle theta up here. Anytime we have circular motion at an angle, we need to resolve the components. So the horizontal component of the tension is opposite to this angle. So that's going to be T sine theta. And we also have the vertical component, which is going to be T cos theta. Because the object is not actually changing its height but is spinning horizontally, the vertical component of the tension needs to balance out the weight. We can write that T cos theta is equal to mg. Because the object is spinning there needs to be a net centripetal force acting towards the center of rotation and this will be provided by the horizontal component of the tension. In other words, T sine theta is going to equal to mv squared divided by r. Here are some examples. For instance, we could have a race car or something which is moving in the direction into the board. And uh, if the angle is theta, then this angle will be equal to this angle, meaning that r sine theta will be equal to mv squared over r in exactly the same way and r cos theta will equal to mg. Or we could also have an airplane in which the lift force acts in exactly the same way and all we would need to do is to split that into components. If this angle here is theta, then we know that L cos theta will have to balance out mg or L sin, and L sine theta will have to provide mv squared over r. Assuming that both objects do not actually move vertically. Now what you need to do next is apply this very concept to a paper 3 question from 2017 on the conical pendulum and this video is just over here.